bless up, bless up, bless up. You're here with extra light on uncensored talk radio. All right, today we're gonna talk about something serious because this is something that comes up a lot within my conversation. And over the years, I have been doing my best to make people aware of this topic of sex trafficking. Um, as you know, we have a sister channel, the Black Discovery Channel. There you can find many videos pertaining to subject matters such as sex trafficking, things that affect the brown melanated community, as well as many various topics to teach you about the foundational aspects of slavery, financial abuse that's going on in the brown melanated community, as well as ways to try to fix the situation. So check out the Black Discovery Channel. But today, I want to talk to you about a topic that really hits me. It's been hitting me for some apparent reason. Um, since I've been a little girl and I've always been aware of it. So most recently, there's a video that surfaced on Facebook of a young lady who um, basically says that she was almost It kidnapped. is early in the morning. I was on my way okay. to... Okay. So this is the video. I'm going to let y'all watch it. We're going to watch it together. Then I'm going to give my commentary on it. And I'm going to also show you clips of video to, that I uploaded on this page, which is my um, my researcher die group, you know, where we just, you know, put a variety of topics up here, factual topics, and um, I uploaded a few videos, you know, just warning my friends and family about sex trafficking and what to be aware of. I'm also going to share a story with you guys, because as y'all know me, as y'all got to know me, y'all know I like to turn up. And that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to play with my body. And I tell y'all, don't play with your body. So, let's watch this video together. And then I'm going to play the videos that I actually uploaded three months ago. And then the video that I uploaded about a year ago about sex trafficking situations that's happening in the area that I live in, which is the outskirts of Atlanta. So, right now, let's check this video out. Look. I would drive my baby girl off at school. My car started acting up. So her dad told me to catch a lift and leave my car there and he would fix it for me. So I called the lift, got in the car with the lift, noticed that they were taking all these different turns, no major streets, was not following the GPS that they were supposed to be following. So I asked the guy, I said, why are you making all these turns? You know, this is not the way to my job. And he wouldn't answer me. He kept on just driving. So I'm noticing that I'm going down these different sidewalks, these neighborhoods. I'm so no nervous. Like, I can't even really talk. So I'm asking the guy, like, why are you turning here? This is not the way to my job. So he kept telling me to be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Like, hold on. I know what I'm doing. So he pulls up behind this other he pulls up behind this other car, like a big truck. I don't even know what it was. So I'm like just nervous because I'm on the phone the whole time and I wasn't paying attention the whole while that he was making all these turns. So I asked him, why don't you go around this truck? Why you just sitting behind the truck like this? I have to get to work. And then he wouldn't answer me. So a black guy got out of the truck. He had braids in his head and everything. And he started opening the gates to this warehouse or whatever it was. And was telling the car that I was in the lift driver to back into the warehouse or whatever. So I'm like, what are you doing? You know, like, this not the way that you're supposed to be going to my job. So I'm telling y'all to be safe. I had to get out the car and run. I was in a lift. I have all his information and everything. I was riding in a lift car trying to get to work because my car was acting funny. I called the police and everything. I'm still waiting on the police. I'm safe. I'm waiting at a gas station. Um, I'm just saying be safe so y'all can share this video. I'm in Houston, Texas. I was on Richmond and Dunbell and it's real out here. You have to be safe so anybody who's riding it. What's up YouTube? Make sure y'all subscribe. Alright, so that's the video and it's 
basically real out here as she says it's not a joke and it's all over um sex trafficking is a practice that actually started long ago and if you watch the black discovery channel you'll start to get an in-depth knowledge of where and how this started and this um not only started from slavery but way before slavery as well is the practice of heathens okay and it has spread across our land so what this goes to say <clears throat> being young brown melanated and vigilant I always tell people to be aware of their surroundings and know what's going on it is not a joke okay so I had an incident most recently that I had to react to and some people would think like wow that's extreme but in times like this I'm gonna let you know you'll do anything to save your 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 pro your property which is your body and which is sacred to you these young women out here are being drugged up to the point that they're incapacitated but coherent enough to be sex trafficked so I was basically driving to work and I noticed that um, a car was following me and you know that I live in Atlanta right now. So I'm from Newark, okay? So the people who've been subscribed, yeah, I know y'all hear me say certain things so y'all get to know me, the people who follow me on um, Research or Die or, I'm um, sorry, Facebook in my group on my personal page because I'm a very open person because I want y'all to be open and I want y'all to really grow and see how it really is to um, be in a position where you can be self-sufficient and grow so I lead by example and that's why I leave my page open okay and I leave my um, certain things open but research or die is a private group which Facebook has made me get trapped in it being private so if you want to locate it you'll have to find me on Facebook and I'll leave that information at the bottom so Basically what happened is that I'm on my way to work and a car is just following me like this truck is just on my hill on my heels now I know this in Atlanta that you know cars once you go on a certain speed you get a car following you because they follow us for some apparent reason Which is very annoying to me because I'm from you know the north and we don't do that like we stick and move And if anybody following you it's either the police or somebody that's trying to rob you and that's a problem So I'm not really used to that you know and I have become very hyper vigilant as well as knowing this type of situation going on with sex trafficking and me being a female I have to be aware so the car following me for like 15 minutes I promise you we're on a highway though we're on a highway so everywhere I go mind you I'm dipping I got a little nice little car that's going a little you know putting in some work and I noticed I'm like nah I'm making extra moves so when you notice a car following you my best advice is to do something not a little like dangerous but definitely make a move that will cause the other car to have to make that same move and if they make that same move that you make then you know that car is following like for instance if you're going like the light is green red and then it's about to turn green and you don't have your blinkers on and you probably four or five cars up before the red light when the car start going and you don't have your blinkers on and then as soon as you get to the point you put your blinkers on you turn and that car turn and it ain't had his blinkers on you start to be aware you know and you could do things like pull into a gas station real quick or you know if you're in a situation like me I was a little frustrated because I knew I had to go to work you know and this basically it was like a utility um, then you know with the flat back it's like a two passenger or four passenger it looked like just the front part so I'm driving and all of a sudden I'm seeing her following me and I'm like this is crazy so when I got off the exit the exit um, was kind of packed I'm gonna be honest it was kind of packed from where the um, corner was at all the way into the highway so I could say where you know where the triangle kind of gets small we were at where the triangle gets small so we were trying to merge into the traffic so I did a slick move I merged into a spot that only had enough for one car so when I did that he went right behind me and you know I'm gonna be honest my gut instincts was get the fuck out and I did I jumped the fuck excuse me excuse my language 
I jumped out and I said, what are you doing? I started spazzing on him. I said, what the fuck are you doing? You've been following me for the last 30 minutes. Like, what is going on? Where the fuck are you going? You ain't going where I'm going. So the truck, <laughs> the truck driver started to yell and say, like, get into my car. And I said, motherfucker, you better watch this motherfucker because he following me. He following me. <laughs> and the guy just turned around and just looked straight and the guy behind me was like kind of shocked and I was like motherfucker I know you ain't going I'm pointing that I'm like I know you ain't going where I'm going you make one more motherfucking turn where I'm going I promise you we're gonna have a problem so I got in my car because I was there was a lot of people out there so uh yeah um I don't advise everybody to do that but I'm that type of set it off so if you go follow me you gonna try to take my cootie cane you gonna try to take my cootie cane you gonna have to fight for my cootie cane and I'm very proud at that a young lady for being aware and asking questions and keep on bothering him because me I'm talking to him so when I get in the car I'm talking to you, you ain't talking to me your vibe is messed up you can feel people vibe and presence y'all i tell y'all to be aware of vibrations in your intuition when it tells you something it pretty much is what it is especially in the times that we're in we're in the times where the vibration of this planet is trying to balance itself okay um there's a lot of destruction that needs to happen as well as a lot of upliftment so with us doing that we're being able to feel frequencies and with that goes to say, when you feel like something's not right, it's not right. So this young lady was aware to see that something was not right. And she got the hell out. Okay? She got the hell out. So, like I said, when it's times where you feel like you're being followed, especially in Atlanta. Because the next two videos that I'm going to share with you is the uploads from Research or Die that I put up here. Um, you know, they kind of, I found them in my video section. <clears throat> I had to find them in my video section because they was a while ago. But one was from three months ago. R.I.P. Nipsey Hustle. You already know. So it was this one. It was about three months ago. I'm going to play for y'all. Um, I'm going to let upload the whole video. As well as it was one that was see it. Three months ago. So it says the season for sex trafficking and child abduction. Please be safe. Love you all. Okay. So that's the video I'm going to be sharing with y'all. As well as another video. So these are just like random videos that I'll be putting up to, you know for my my people and um i got another one that i has a really you know it was about a year ago you know when i found out some deep information so i just want to show y'all to let y'all know that this stuff is not a year ago that this been going on but it's been going on for a while it's been going on for a long time so i please ask y'all to subscribe to the black discovery channel the black discovery channel you'll be able to get an in-depth perspective on how sex trafficking actually emerged because we have basically a timeline of videos that reflects the slave sex trafficking that went on during the slave trade as well as I'm gonna go a little bit deeper this weekend I'm gonna release a video um, focused on the mindset of sex um, predators and a little bit more so y'all stay tuned and I want to say thank you for being here you know subscribe to the channel as i say i'm gonna be dropping random content here but if y'all are subscribed to all my social media you're gonna see how active i am and when it comes to uncensored enlightenment talk don't worry the time will come where i gonna get enough of me talking stuff because i'm gonna bring it i'm gonna bring it for y'all but not right now because i'm getting the black discovery channel together so like subscribe and share but anytime that something is important that most high says share with you guys i'll be right on here talking talking my stuff many blessings
just really focusing since it's the beginning of the school year and I am a parent of teens. I just want you guys to be aware of what's going on. This is the season for sex trafficking. It's certain times of the school year, certain times of the year where it's a heavy, heavy, heavy presence and um, issues of sex trafficking. So because y'all know what's going on in these big old um, pedophilia cases is coming out, I just want you to be aware. And the reason why I'm going live right now, because it just, it really hit me because it's serious. Um, a while ago, I had made a post up here about you, to you guys talking about the town I was in, finding out that, you know, they do have some type of sex trafficking ring going on. And I was made aware of that by not only other um, members that's inside of police enforcement, but as well as active um, members of society that's pushing to get laws rectified and make sure that the city is running well. We're talking about citizens that's aware, that's been trying to get um, people in my county um, aware that there are players within our government in my town that's involved in sex trafficking. Now, this is all allegedly, but um, my daughter, I was just talking to them about, you know, the times is changing, about the mass shootings, and also about being aware. And she did mention to me that she knows two people in my area, two teenagers, that has come up missing. And one of the young girls that's missing from a local, like it's a jumping place, I forgot the name of it, where they go jumping on those bins. And I literally, my kids was just there a couple of weeks ago. And they said that that was the last place that they saw this young lady. And my daughter said, like, how, how can she be missing? It's so packed, there's so many people. And this is what we have to talk to our teens about, is being aware they are snatching people from parking lots. They are snatching people from malls. They are snatching people from anywhere. They can snatch people right in a bar, right in a bar. Like, literally, I had watched a series where, um, you know, they were talking about missing people who were vanishing in thin air, like right in front of people. Like they'll walk out the burn totally they're just gone. Now I think you know it is something behind it, but I just need you as parents to stress to your teens that you know we have this um parent teen talking relationship where it's kind of a disconnect where the teens would be like, well, that's not, that's your time. Cause we always talk about back in my day and now we sounding like our parents, but it's literally something's really different. And now I understand what my parents were saying about my time frame. but this goes to say that it is the time and season for sex trafficking. I will be um, coming up with a documentary later on this month with the numerous people that have just been kidnapped um, or missing in my area. And I know it's about 25 people. So I'll share that documentary with you guys later on this month when I do the research on that. But I just want y'all to be safe. I want y'all to be aware no matter where you're at. I'm in the country, city, wherever, Newark, Atlanta, B, careful. They are snatching whole bodies, whole people bodies, drugging them up, making them sex slaves. And it's real, you know, so. I just want to send love and light to you guys and thank you again for dealing with me and being part of this group, being part of the growth. Um, y'all know I have a mentorship program. It's not mine, it's y'all's. So y'all can sign up to be someone mentor. You can go get mentorship. It's actually one young lady that I'm going to go um, ask for mentorship with. She is a college graduate writer. She writes for college. Um, and she has a mentor section there. She's going to help me. I'm going to have her help me edit some of my papers. You know, so we can all, each one teach one. We all need each other. No matter what you do, you are important. No matter where you're at, you are important. And I need you to be aware. Um, just to close off, I was talking to my friend. And, you know, he was like, yo, I understand what you're doing. He said, you're balancing out the porosity. So if y'all don't understand what I'm trying to do or what I am doing, I came here as a soldier. I came here as a soldier of Yahweh. And I'm here to balance out the porosity. As much fear that they put in your heart, as much lies and deceit that they put in society, I will be a person that counteracts that, tell you the truth, make you aware, and hopefully you prepare yourself in the generations for the transition to come. Because there will be a big transition. Just be ready. Many will die around us. But only the strong and the ones that are ready to recreate this planet will be here. And it's real. It may not happen on my, my lifetime, but it's going to happen.
and it may happen on your kid's lifetime. So I just ask y'all to take y'all heads out of the sand, stop looking at everything as a conspiracy, and start to really do some research. Love you guys, um, and I hope you stay enlightened. It is what it is, because I'm ready. She really wants, gotta think Mary For a play, but it's so long Bless, I'm bless, bless Good home. morning, research or die Morning, morning, morning I'm coming to talk to you guys Say what's up, I haven't talked to y'all in a while um, If y'all don't know, to the new members I am the administrator of the group I'm one, oh, freaking fresh I'm the administrator of the group And I am here to Spread messages of love like, um, to the new members of the group. The direction of this group is research. Open-minded topics. Um, we try to share as much factual information as possible. We have a lot of vigilant group members that's ready to check people with stories that's possibly not real, and I'm grateful for that. But the message today is because it's the beginning of the school year for many, um, my, my kids school year started last month because I'm down south. I need you guys to be vigilant and I want to share a few stories with y'all in regards to my um, basically the truth of the encounters of sex trafficking. I haven't myself been in a sex trafficking ring but because I have been um, researching this topic for a while um, the creator has sent me a lot of reassurance and facts. So one of the things I want to share with you guys is a story in which I met an officer in my town and he shared the story with me because basically after one of my court matters, I talked to him and we were talking about being vigilant in the area and attending, um, you know, like the, the council meetings out here and just knowing what's going on. And him as an officer was not aware of a lot of things that was going on because you're not able to attend these council meetings or meetings around your neighborhood in which a lot of us are not are not able to do that because our work schedule our family but we have to make the time to know what's going on in our community and to be vigilant so basically he i, I told him i was like well the last council meeting that they had in this town was aimed towards sex trafficking and a sex trafficking ring i have met another content creator um and this gentleman i will share his videos He's from my area and he's actually trying to present to the district attorney, the DA of the county, the evidence that he has of sex trafficking going on here, a housing unit going on in my area, as well as public officials that are involved. Let me park somewhere so y'all can see me in the sun. So basically he has the proof that there are public officials in law enforcement and in the courts of this town that's involved in sex trafficking and the DA do not want to hear his story. So he's on Facebook, he's on um, YouTube making contents just to, you know, make people aware of this. I'm trying to find better light for you guys. I'm about to park. Um, yeah, so we get better light and I can just talk to you for a few minutes. So basically, he's trying to present to the DEA all of this information in regards to um, the sex trafficking that's going on around here. I'm stepping out so y'all can see me. And they will not take the information. They don't want to hear it. They are disregarding it. And he goes to all the meetings and really try to get this information out. So what this goes to say that this is real. This is something that's going on and this is something that we cannot hide from. What I have promised to him is that I will use whatever social media page I have to help get this message out about sex trafficking and possible child abduction and women abduction. There's a lot of people making videos, home videos that are telling you guys and showing you their live accounts of possibly being kidnapped. And these are women that have been in shopping centers. These are women who are just traveling, doing their, um, you know, working out and things like that. And they're being, they're encountering these men setting up stings with vans around them to basically um, orchestrate a kidnapping. Now I have put videos up there with live encounters of people who have been in sex trafficking rings, live encounters of children who has been in these um, 
these homes that deal with incest and things like that and i haven't received a lot of comments under the videos but i know that y'all see them and y'all know i know that y'all know that they are truth and they're not just coming from anywhere people will not make up these outlandish allegations horrible horrific allegations against people unless they are true I have shared videos in regards to the Pope being exposed right now for covering up some of these things. It is on national news. It's on your regular Joe Blow Fox News and the ones that y'all want to follow is there. But y'all need to really be true to the fact that content creators have been saying this for years. That is sex trafficking, it is child pornography going on, and it's a lot of um, murders and killings that's going on as well as organ trafficking. So this video, I'm setting the message for you guys to be vigilant. Teach your kids, teach your children. So I want to go back into the, the, the uh, story with the officer. Not only was he not aware of that, those type of meetings going on, but he did share a story with me. He said that it was a female who got arrested and her name was Jane Doe. And she kept saying she didn't know who what was her name. And they literally had to fingerprint her and then find her on Facebook and come to find out she was a missing person. This young lady was so drugged up that she didn't even know her name. She didn't know where she was at, but she was involved in prostitution, okay? So this was a prime example of sex trafficking and the horrific outcome of it. This young lady was so drugged up that she did not even know who she was at a point. And they have these, and that's what they do. They will kidnap you, take you to another state, have you drugged up and sell your body sell your body and do whatever they want to do to it so i'm telling you guys tell your teenagers be aware and the problem is that i see is that it's such a high vigilancy of the sexual tone in our media in our um videos that it's natural for these females to act like that like it's cute to for them to act like that and this behavior actually becomes normalized so when things happen where someone is being abducted or or being forced to have sex they're saying well look what she had on look 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 what she was trying to say with her body or whatever she wanted she was looking for something and this is how they switch it on the feminine um porosity to basically say that we are looking to be sexualized to be trafficked to be whatever because this is the tone that we're putting out so i'm telling you guys pay attention to the distractions and pay attention to the programming that they're putting into your head they're making it normal so these things that happen becomes mundane and it's like oh okay well it just happens like that shit don't happen like that sex trafficking don't happen like that um, pedophilia, child pedophilia doesn't happen like that. Getting kids pregnant does not just happen like that. These are not normal behaviors and we will not allow this to become set normal behaviors in our society. There are a lot of us that standing up strong and proud to say these are not the behaviors that's accepted. They're grabbing their kids by their arms and saying no, you're not wearing that. This is not the content that you're supposed to be into because it's creating that tone of sexuality which is, which is basically covering the epidemic of sex trafficking, child pedophilia, and organ trafficking. Um, all of those things are connected. So that was one of the, the live account stories from an officer sharing what's going on. Two live account stories from an activist out here in my county who is trying to present to the DA office of Henry County, because I'm gonna tell you what county I stay in, um, these allegations at this point, but they won't even look at none of his evidence or anything because these people are public officials. The sad thing is that in one of the council meetings, I'm gonna share with you guys, these people on the council and the board don't even know that they work for a corporation. He literally brought them facts and evidence to show them and the, the, the president of the board was so astonished to find out that he was the CEO of Henry County's board department. He said he never signed up to be a CEO of a company. This is the truth behind the secure party information that I've been giving you and letting you know that these are corporations. The United States is a corporation. Our state, our, um, our cities are corporations, our states are corporations, they are privately owned and they're being privately ran to basically undermine our republic, uh, undermine our freedom, you know, by putting all these corporate um, policies into play that obstructs real justice. 
So we have these um, actors that's in positions in which they are obstructing us, the public, from not only learning about these bad things that are happening, but they're actually covering for their counterparts. So the message today, guys, for my group members, I ask for you to get, get diligent. This may be not a fight that you feel like you have anything to do with, but you do and you would be in it if it was your child. You're not even child, you're wife and child being taken because they taking women they're taking women and children don't get it messed up don't get it messed up just because you're of age that you can't be a victim of sex trafficking it happens they have watched women they have um watched people for months they call this thing supposedly gang stalking where they find out how the person lives, how they function, and then eventually kidnap them and do whatever they need to do with them. I need you guys to be vigilant. Be vigilant of your situation. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the people who are staring at you. Go ask them, how you doing? You know, I'm the type, I'm gonna put you on the spot. You ain't gonna be following me. So anyway, I ain't gonna make it into a comedy special, but I, I will like, I wanted to be as human as possible with you guys. And y'all to get to know Research or Die. Also, I haven't been posting a lot of Research or Die because I was in a car accident in which, excuse me, I was in a car accident in which my car was totally totaled. I was hit and I'm grateful to be alive right now. So you guys, this is why I haven't been posting a lot, get my technology back, my phone together and everything like that, and just get my feng shui together because it's not easy getting all this information and trying to depict through it and see what can be real and not real when you have your audience that's ready to get you on research or die but put articles that they feel is not true. And I totally respect that because that's what y'all supposed to do. So I'm asking you guys to get active. I've been seeing a few people putting their post in. I'm going to allow y'all to put your post in as long as it's like oh, on a research type basis. Um, nothing to promote propaganda and nonsense. That's just not going to happen. And other than that, just do what you got to do. So the voice of reason today is to be vigilant and be aware of the sex trafficking going on with these weirdos out here that's following people, that's trying to kidnap them and take their body parts, take their private areas and all this other nonsense. Be aware. You have kids, you have nieces, nephews, aunts, mothers. It's on the rise. And what they're doing is taking people from state to state. So people who never left their state, they somewhere where they don't even know no money, no funds and drugged up. Okay, and I'm telling you this is a live account from an officer. I'm meeting a lot of individuals that's able to give me their live account and as much as I can share with you guys, I'm gonna share with you guys. So have a blessed day. I'll be making some more videos on my YouTube page. I got a few going on. I also wanna send love and light to Kanika. Kanika, my love is for you. I'm grateful that you're on my heart. I'm grateful that you're, you're, you're um, allowing people to be aware of what possibly has happened to you, which a lot of people are concluding to organ trafficking. Regardless of the details of that case, they were preserving that girl body to keep those organs. And that's just my perspective and a lot of other people's perspective, especially being a healthcare provider. You know, there's no reason for that girl to have been in the freezer preserved like that. So at the end of the day, love and light, protect your life, and I'm sending many blessings to you. Have a great day, y'all. Associated with older men, and that's a problem. That's a real big problem. These older men need to cut it out, and instead of hurting our kids, they need to help our kids. So my word is to you is, come on, men, let's stand up and let's start helping our kids. In regard to the R. Kelly situation, there's a lot of fake outrage, in my opinion. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, say whether he did it or not, doesn't really matter. But the truth of the matter is, is that there is an R. Kelly in every neighborhood, if he's guilty, or if you look into what he's done in the past. You have a, if you're listening to this, you probably have an R. Kelly in your neighborhood. You probably have someone that is trying to draw attention to, you know, insecure or young women or older women, or little girls or younger girls. It doesn't really matter. So, you know, we've done basically uh, outreach and different things like that, sex videos on sex trafficking, 
different things with women and teenagers and different things like that that went missing, you know, whether they were lured by older men or, you know, different things like that. It's an issue. And it's like, why do we wait till the media is telling us how to react? The media is, you know, yes, the sex trafficking was covered, you know, in D.C. and a little bit different things like that. But again, how many of you that know about this R. Kelly situation know about the sex trafficking that's happening in your community? And what are you doing to address it? To address it? How are you raising awareness about it? Um, are you even familiar with it? Or does it even exist in your community? Where do you even begin to look? So, just things like that. I, it's just, it's not so much about R. Kelly as it is how we shift our attention to him and there's a lot of people that defend him they still support his music they go to his concerts but there's a lot of people that are upset with what he did a lot of people that are upset with what he did in the past and even this situation are you aware that sex trafficking if you're in a major city it's more than likely an issue in your community or surrounding communities. And, you know, having covering this issue personally, it affects a lot of people, it affects family members, mothers, uh, mothers are crying, their daughters, and, you know, their daughters are missing. It's just, it's a very sad situation if you look deep past the entertainment. So it's not, I'm not really discussing so much did he or didn't he do it? The issue is sex trafficking is an issue. Whether the girls are running away or whether they're kidnapped, it's still an issue. And what are we gonna do to uh, basically get the family structure back together where the girls or the young women feel like they don't have to run away? That they don't have to look for guidance or trouble by running away where there's a happy home. But that's not really attention. Uh, that's not really gonna draw a lot of attention. It's For those who supported R. Kelly back to the other side, what would you do if that was your sibling, your daughter, your sister, whatever, how would you feel about that? If that were you, would you still be a fan of R. Kelly or would you just, and that kind of exposes really, even when we do know that this is going on, we still accept it. We still accept when R. Kelly done this because he wasn't blackballed, he wasn't, um, he still sold records, he still did videos. So, you know, just like family members, we accept it, we live on, we don't tell anybody, and it just still goes on. And that's really a major issue. It's not really popular. It's not really entertaining. It's not going to draw thousands of protests. And, you know, we don't have to slut shame to draw attention, you know, create fake attention to a serious issue. We shouldn't have to try to manipulate people to do what needs to be done. We just should do it. So I'm not gonna take up too much more time. That's just, this, 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 is, this is just a quick video, basically. We've been covering these issues and it's like, oh, R. Kelly did it. But there's a million R. Kellys in our communities that we don't even know about it, but we all know that R. Kelly's doing it. So I'm just encouraging if we, for, to those who are, feel the need to talk about this and discuss it and make video, videos about it, let's just try to go a step further to addressing the sex trafficking that we have in our community also. It might not get views, might not get a lot of hits, it probably won't, but in the long run, you'll be helping out people
Number 25. The average cost of a slave in 2013 was between 90 and 100 US dollars. Number 24. In most regions, 80% of trafficking involves sexual exploitation. Number 23. The remaining 20% is generally for labor exploitation. Number 22. The number of slaves on earth today is estimated between 20 and 30 million. Number 21. Nearly 1 million of them are moved across an international border every year on the black market. Number 20. 70% of those slaves are female. Number 19. 50% are children. Number 18. Behind drugs and weapons, human trafficking is the third largest international crime industry in the world. Number 17. It generates approximately $33 billion every year. Number 16. Over half of that comes from industrialized countries. Number 15. Even for purposes of labor exploitation, women still constitute over half of Earth's enslaved population. Number 14. Organ harvesting is another seldom mentioned but quickly growing industry that benefits from human trafficking. Number 13. An estimated 30,000 victims of sex trafficking die each year from abuse, disease, torture, and neglect. Number 12. 80% of those sold into slavery are under 24, and some are as young as 6. Number 11. Ludwig Tarzan Feinberg, a convicted trafficker, said, You can buy a woman for $10,000 and make your money back in a week if she's young and pretty. Then everything else is profit. Number 10. A 2003 study in the Netherlands found that, on average, a single sex slave earned her pimp at least a quarter million dollars a year. Number 9. A human trafficker can earn 20 times what he or she paid for a girl, provided the girl was not physically brutalized to the point of ruining her beauty. The pimp could sell her again for a greater price because he had trained her and broken her spirit, which saves future buyers from a hassle. Number 8. The end of the Cold War has resulted in the growth of regional conflicts and the decline of borders. Many rebel groups turn to human trafficking to fund military actions and garner soldiers. Number 7. According to a 2009 Washington Times article, the Taliban buys children as young as 7 years old to act as suicide bombers. Number 6. The price for child suicide bombers is between 7,000 and 14,000 US dollars. Number 5. UNICEF estimates that 300,000 children younger than 18 are currently trafficked to serve in armed conflicts worldwide. Number 4. Babies are sold on the black market where the profit is divided between the traffickers, doctors, lawyers, border officials, and others. Number 3. Researchers argue that as the economic crisis deepens, the number of people trafficked for forced labor will increase. Number 2. Human trafficking is one of the fastest growing criminal enterprises because it holds relatively low risk with high profit potential. Criminal organizations are increasingly attracted to human trafficking because, unlike drugs, humans can be sold repeatedly. And number one, there are more slaves in the world today than ever before in history. If you liked the video you just saw, then consider clicking on the button at the top right to subscribe. Also, check out our other popular videos, 25 Funniest Google Autocomplete Fails, and 25 Famous Company Names and Where They Came From. If you're still itching for more, go check out our website at list25.com for a whole bunch of cool lists. Please don't turn cats to like hair, please don't turn cats to like hair, subscribe to Macmillan and hit the notification bell button to be notified.